Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. Here we go. We still have just a smidge bit of a water issue going on. I'm going to throw one more moisture evaporator right over here just for the sake of us getting this situation solved for now and we'll see what we can do as well to solve uh, more long term in the future. So that will get this thing going. They'll get this lifted up really quick and then we're going to do the upgrade as well. See, look at that. They're almost done. Bingo, bango. And we're back to a zero. So now we have 54.1 water production. And our demand is 53. Which means the minute we have anything that we change, it's going to go haywire again. Uh, but you know what? At least we have things moving. Uh, they're working again. Uh, let's see. We... What are you doing? You are... Oh, yeah. You're fully loaded up. Um, yeah, unload. I originally was going to have him help out building uh, this whole line here, but they were able to pull from the resources around and made it up. So uh, I did want to do that. That was one of the things I wanted to do in the last episode that I didn't uh, finish up, but I want to complete this power. Oh, I can't, can I? Because of the uneven terrain. Ooh, but is can I use the trick? So this was told to me back a little while ago where you can potentially use... Oh no. It's not letting me. Okay. Thought maybe we could level that out, but we can't. We'd have to go all the way around it in some direction, probably out this way, and wrap it back around to connect up all this. But we have plenty of power being generated over here. Uh... Oh. Anom the anomaly has been analyzed. Okay, uh, demand is 50, production is 50.8. Restoring power. Oh, we're like barely on the edge of uh, surviving this thing, aren't we? Sounds like I need one. You know what I really need to put out here? You know, I should just do it. It's really overkill, though. I was going to put one of these fusion reactors. Because then we can immediately turn this thing into... No, let's do it. They're gonna go crazy. And we have to do the upgrade for it so that we can... What is this? Um... Okay. Weird. Boom. But once you do this, and once you do that, this will no longer require any workers, and this has plenty of power. Everything will stay fully powered up. Look at these things just brrr, done. Cool. You could, I could actually literally take these out because that satisfies everything over here without any issue whatsoever. So good, there's a little bit of efficiency. I used to use, uh, eh, basic resources. We're, we're okay, not too worried about it. Um, ooh, one building's, what building's not working? Oh, because we don't have any officers over here for it. We have tons of food. Actually, it almost makes me wonder if should I like take this out and put another village in? Because right now we're, we're cleaning up on Oh, we are running out of space on food. Oh, hang on. Uh, this whole storage thing for food is going to be the death of me. One, two, three, four, five. There's five more. They can go to town. They can get all these cleaned up. And look at that. They're going to fill this thing up. All these things are full. <laughs> we have... We have what, uh, we have a lot of food. Six and a half thousand food units. Ah, oh, amazing. Anyway. Oh, another one. Okay. This is another one of those scenarios where we just don't have Research people for it. <gasps> Martian copyrights. We're going to make more money. Oh, yeah. What's going on with the uh, research over here? Ooh. Coming down the home stretch. Oh, that's a repeatable, and that's a repeatable. 
Uh, Martians don't take any sandy from uh, sandy damage from disasters. Um, what's this one? Super fungus. The fungus among us. Okay, we have the hanging gardens that improves things. Yep, let's do that and that. Sure. Okay, we are down to, once we have these, we have eight items left and we've researched everything in the game. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. This thing here, I just, I don't want it to deliver all of our resources because I need it for the electronics because we got to get that back up. I mean, granted, I could always probably buy some, but... Oh, I could always just forbid the exports? Huh, how about that? I could turn it back on, then. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, because we have uh, $18 billion right now, so... Not really a concern. Okay, plenty of metals, we're doing well there. Plenty of power, we are crushing the power thing. Uh, we have 732 colonists right now. More fuel than we know what to do with. 2.2,000. Polymers we're doing phenomenal with as well. Concrete, rocking it out of the park. Yeah, other than water, water's the only situation that's like, ew. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions on how to make more sustainable water because I was looking at the map here, if I zoom back out, and I've got water here that I just tapped into. This little section here has 23, has, what is that, 30, 36, 37,000-ish water. 10 and 10, there's another 22. We have some water over here. But nothing significant. We're literally... Oh, that one there. It's the last significant water piece that we have is way over here. And I'm just wondering, you know, once we deplete that, what happens? Oh, we have some water over here too. 12,000 worth. But, man. I don't know. I'm kind of curious. I don't know what happens once you run... I didn't see any technologies that were all water-based. Maybe there's one more that's going to pop up here once you research everything. It says the source of unlimited water. I don't know. I just <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. So that will be interesting. So okay, we're good there. But anyway, let's uh, jump back in here. What do we got going on in this dome here? Uh, doing well. Tons of colonists. Tons of colonists. Everyone is... Oh, you don't have the upgrade yet. Uh, let's put... Sure, we're going to put more housing in. Let's get some more peoples. Let's come over here. Do the same. Oh, where's that build menu? There it is. Boop. Put that in there. Okay, well, they're going to go to town. That's been upgraded, that's been upgraded. That's been upgraded now, so now their comfort is higher as well. Um, let's turn off births because, like, we're crushing it. <laughs> we have too many people. Um, yeah, too many again. We're under, turn off births there. Births are forbidden. Forbidden, forbidden. Forbidden. I hate to do that. Like, I really wish they could, but, like, they just don't relocate well enough in the game. I mean, if one of these here had, like, this one right here. Or maybe they are actually changing since they've been homeless in other ones. Five homeless. I wonder if it just takes a while for them to get there. There's a bunch that are unemployed, which kind of is weird to me, but... Um, yeah, we have definitely more fuel, so that's going to keep triggering, because I'm not going to keep building a, a boatload. I mean, I've got a ton of fuel sitting out here. 
Um, that's dangerous enough to get struck by meteors or anything. Oh, did we put any meteor protection over here? I don't think we did. Oh, I did not. There's that. Let's do one more just to be safe. And boom. The nice part about this right here is that the demand on the power that we have is it'll take us a lot. We can actually put a lot over here. So we should be nice and safe. How are we doing over here for laser coverage? <laughs> Look at this thing. Hooking it up. Yeah, this thing I wanted to be crazy covered. I don't want that thing to break at all. Well, our tube here could break. Plenty of water. Okay, so we're fine there. I would almost say it is time for the next dome. Yeah. I'll really, I'll really, I'll tell you, I'll really say it is Tom for the next one. Um, hmm, which one do we want to build? I actually almost thought about, well, no, I thought about making, possibly doing like a little design over here or something, because we have plenty of resources. We can always shuttle the stuff over. <clears throat> maybe start another group of colonists over here and bring them this way. That way, one, we could tap into the water that's over here already and see if we can connect these two colonies together through expansion. So if I jump down over here, I don't think I can build on that crazy area right there, can I? No, I can't. It's uneven terrain. Blocking objects. Oh, my little drone guy. Hey, buddy. Or my rover. over here. Come on back. Now that you don't have to ever have to recharge, then I just leave you out places. Yeah, it almost makes me think if we could build over here. I'm wondering. I got, oh, maybe even build over here then put a tunnel from here to here and build out our water plant for that. If we're here, that's even closer. We could actually start to make that that trek back and forth. We got to go around this mountain range. This whole area we could build in here. And here's kind of what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe something like, hmm. I was thinking maybe a mega dome in the middle. Let's do basic dome. Put another one here. Basic dome. Research complete. Maybe doing something like that. Connect up the the tubes to it. But put all the residential out here. And put the workers in here. Make this an entire industrial dome. I thought that could work out really, really good. Hmm. That's pretty cool. So if we did something like that, then we could have, what is that? Uh, what's in these smart homes over here? Smart complex takes 12. There's six in each one of these. So we could actually make a pretty good setup going here. Let's do this. So. Three, four, that's 24. What do we say? There's 12. Yeah, we can put 288 people in these domes here. Connect them in and give them plenty of work and things in here. So give a lot of the social in the middle right here as well. Put a sanatorium in here uh, in the center for the spire. That could, ooh, this could work out really, really good. Hmm. That could be a lot of fun to do. You know what? I say we do it. Oh, actually, I I missed. 
I miscounted that. I can't put all six in with houses, can I? Because then I won't have room for the actual connecting piece. The uh, tube. Come in. Hmm. Be nice if you could connect these together. Like, bring them into each other. Make like a giant connected ball. Because then if you could do that, it'd be cool to do something like this. Where I say, give me this one. Down here, like if you could legitimately connect them like this, like side to side. Like that. And then boom, they could walk right in from one to the other and you wouldn't actually have to use the... Can you do that though? Yeah, see, I don't, I don't think that's actually connected. No, it's not. But tell me that wouldn't be cool to be able to do, like, that kind of connection. Oh, man, that would be so cool. I wonder if there's a mod out there for this game that would allow you to do that. That'd be kind of cool, because then you could just rotate these. I already dropped it down, so you can't rotate it once it's down, but anyway. That would be really interesting. But, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, I need to make these a little bit closer. I am going to make them closer. Just for the sake of um, efficiency when it comes to where we're going to put the tubes for them. So if we do this. Let me do this. Let me do something like this. Okay, so then my thought is here that we would bring in right here to there, here to there. Be Optimize on the space that we have here on these two, uh, those two triangles. This one we could go directly here to here, and this one go here to here, and keep it as clean as we can. And I want to utilize the same section that we're going to be monopolizing from each one, because then those tubes will connect up all the power. We'll get fusion reactors out here, get probably two of those going. I think that could work out really, really good. Nice little, uh, 250 person setup out here and plenty of jobs we can tap into this water here I wish we could actually crate it across in the event that it was needed but hmm anyway oh we even have the ability to tap into this over here gives us a lot of possibilities here I liking it uh, wait that's this guy over here right it is I need to put a drone hub out here. There we go. That will take care of that, and then I can take this guy. I could bring him over here. Him and his 12 drones. Come on, good buddy. I think we're going to roll with this. I like this idea. I like it a lot. So we are... Actually, I think this is a good point. I'd love to get your feedback on what you think about this expansion here. Um, if there's any suggestions you have, things you want me to change, things that I should do differently, um, let me know. I'd love to get uh, your thoughts around this whole thing. Uh, if there's something I should change, if I'm doing something that would like break things later, uh, that's what I love to find out from you guys. So definitely feel free to drop a comment on this video. If you're enjoying the series or you're just having a good day, if you can smash that like button, it helps me huge. If you're new to the channel or if, even if you've been here for a while, if you are so inclined to hit that sub button, let me tell you, I am super appreciative for everyone who does that. It is such a good feeling to have you guys doing that, to just see the impact that it's having on the channel and seeing how things change all the time. I'm just, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
thank you so much for you guys doing that for wanting to follow the channel and continue on with the content that we have here um, as always feel free to drop a comment on any video I love to get uh, comments from all of them and when you hit that sub button make sure you hit that bell icon so you know when any new video or series comes out on the channel with that being said I thank you and we will see you in the next video